Tourists Michaela and Rick O'Doherty were visiting Comox for the first time recently and discovered a great new downtown attraction, the newly relocated Comox Archives and Museum. And we're just starting to look around the museum here, but I see it's really clearly set out. So we can't wait to recognize some of the names from the streets and things. Very nicely set up, and I love it being so close to the water. Everything is close to the water here. Having moved upstairs with fellow Comox attraction, the Pearl Ellis Gallery, the new museum facility on Comox Avenue has been in the works for some time. It always has been a dream of the uh, people of the museum and of the gallery uh, from 20 years ago <laughs> to have a better location. And uh, um, over the last 10 years, of course, everybody has been eyeing the space up here as the library was you know, getting more and more prepared to move. And then it did move three years ago. And I found it very easy to get here today, which was great because we've never been to Comex before. Just follow the signs. So now we're seeing you know, a lot of the information. I was going to ask, where do you think they're getting everything from? Old archives or everything brand new has been made up specifically for the new place? The stories and legends of Comox are chronicled here. And as you wander through exhibits of the past, history seems to come alive. There are many interesting exhibits at the museum including the volunteer-built replica of the Lorne Hotel, a heritage site that was recently destroyed by fire. Of course, the Lorne is, has many fond, fond memories throughout the valley, and so we thought this was a good opportunity to celebrate its memory, and uh, so we decided to build a little facade so that when people come in, they can sort of look at it and recreate their own memories of, uh, of the Lorne and what they did and saw in the Lorne. <laughs> Uh, which will be unique to everybody, no doubt. <laughs> the Comox Archives and Museum Society are always looking for historical photos and artifacts. We're always looking for the opportunity to obtain more things. Uh, we have successfully had a lot of people bring us their photo albums. We have scanned them. Some people have given us photographs. Uh, some of them are not ready to part with them. So we're very happy to borrow books and scan the information, give them back. Um, so we are building uh, more and more of that type of thing. To support the museum and get more information, check out their website, comoxmuseum.ca. In Comox, for Shaw TV, I'm Alison Bly.